Hey, my fellow Gemini. So we're here for the week readings. We've got the uh, Taurus full moon tomorrow, and then it's our full moon next month. But I am uh, a Taurus stellium as well, and I'm already feeling the energy of this. My stubborn head is coming on. I think it's going to affect us all this one, um, especially you know with Taurus being governed by Venus. We've got Uranus coming in. We've got uh pluto is coming stepping out of capricorn and going into aquarius which is quite exciting to be honest because when it was in capricorn it was all about material gain and you know finances that type of thing as it steps into the aquarius energy it's more about humanitarianism it's more about yourself it's more about learning to rely on yourself rather than other people as well so everybody within the next week or so i'd say two to three weeks are going to be analysing um, the people they surround themselves with, the relationships, uh, the relationships with money and 3D material property, that type of thing. So get ready for it, Gemini, because we're all in for a fun ride. But we are at the end of 2024, which is the eight year. We're getting ourselves ready for that 2025 energy, the nine transition. So I'm going to dive straight in. I am using my empowerment cards to do the actual Celtic, but I actually wanted to get us... Um, an animal card with it being the Taurus full moon I don't know why I just felt like animals were going to be significant so I'm going to dive straight in so for my Geminis we have the Bobcat I've not seen this one before the Bobcat mystery the Bobcat teaches you that there is true strength and power in silence and patience I, I need that oh I thought I need that in order to get what you want, you must be willing to plan, adapt, and above all, have the patience to see your dreams manifest. So yeah, it is that Taurus energy. It gives us that like kind of bull energy. We're raging. We're you know a rag to what is it? Bull to the red rag. Uh, but we've got to kind of step back and have that patience and kind of know that things are coming towards us. Be willing to adapt plans and change. And that is the what I was saying about, you know, the analysing, the relationships, the material, the you know, the, the functioning areas in life. We're going to be analysing quite a lot. So I'm going to go into the empowerment deck for my Geminis. So the main energy for my Geminis is a leap of faith. Oh, I keep meaning to say, oh, check your summary magazine in your Venus. And please like, share, subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel. And I'm also on TikTok uh, now. So I'm doing lives on TikTok twice a week. I'm actually on there tonight at 7 o'clock. So if you catch this video beforehand, get over there. The main energy is a leap of faith. And it is going to take a leap of faith. I feel like the whole your whole life at the moment feels like this. you've just... I've just got to take this leap of faith. I've just got to go for it. I've got to see what's behind them doors. I can't hold myself back anymore. You know, I can't make excuses for myself anymore. I'm taking a leap of faith. So I do feel like within the next week, there is going to be certain things where you that's going to test your faith. So what's crossing that energy? It's the past. So we've got haunted energy. We've, we, the fact is we need to turn our heads away from the past instead of keep looking back and expecting things to happen the way they, they once did. We need to take that leap of faith and find our own way out of there. And use this full moon to let go of anything that's holding you back from the past, whether it be a thought process, whether it be a person, whether it be a career. You know, there is something haunting you. There is something there in your subconscious that's getting to you. I've actually got two decks. This is so weird, but I want to keep it as it is because I've got two of my empowerment decks, I've only just realised, together. Everything happens for a reason. So I'm staying with it. Why is it coming around now? <laughs> what did I just say? Everything happens for a reason. There's going to be a massive leap of faith that's needed this week. But it, it's divine guidance. You're being guided divinely in order to take this leap of faith. The main energy is the leap of faith. And as to why it's coming around is the leap of faith. So this is really interesting. You know, it's almost like the, the divine and I saying like, we need to guide you away from one energy and push you towards the next. It is the full card, the leap of faith. When I drew it, I never meant it to be like that. All the cards have changed meaning to me since I put them into a deck. But it's about being ready to start back at zero, being ready for something brand new. And I do feel like you are ready 
you know, you're ready and willing to put yourself forward into something. So weird how I've put two of the same deck together. But like I say, if it happens for a reason, that's never happened before. So, oh, recent past, we've got Lilith. Well, we all know. I love Lilith. Lilith is the... She's, she carries the serpent. She's showing you that, you know, we've got to shed a layer in growth. She is the the energy of the divine fem feminine as in, I'm not putting up with this anymore. I will not be held back anymore. Uh, there could have been abuse. There could have been narcissism, bullying, that type of energy. It's like your Lilith energy is coming into play, Gemini, and it's basically a uh, go yourself energy i've had enough i'm not that person i will not be walked all over anymore i'll say no quite easily now and i feel like that's what it is and that's what's opening this leap of faith but maybe the haunted energy is whatever happened in the past in order for lilith to feel like she needs to come in with some kind of protection because there's some kind of protection coming in there with lilith lilith takes no shit she takes no shit. I feel like Gemini's are definitely in that energy at the moment. Yeah, you are only surrounding yourself with soul sisters, soul brothers, soul tribe, people who are on your level. Anyone who you can see that it has got hidden motives, ulterior motives, you know, that type of thing, they don't belong in your energy. And you'll feel it because you won't feel yourself. You know, you'll feel tired, you'll feel drained, you'll feel negative or anxious or... You know, you want to be free. It's like your soul wants to be free with this leap of faith. So the leap of faith is, is calling you away from your past, but it's also kind of pushing you towards new people and new things as well. So it's definitely, if there's invites to meet new people or to go to places where there'd be new people, maybe in the past you'd be like, nah, they're telling you to go. You are divinely protected this week, Gemini. Yeah, there is some kind of conflict going on, whether it be internalised conflict or whether it be um, conflict with other people and maybe that's why the Lilith energy is there. I feel like some of you are six deaf people from the past. I just want to clarify this conflict card and get some advice on it. We've got that full moon. Full moons do bring it. They're telling you to put distance in between conflict. So don't react. Put distance. Grow. You know, that conflict is just holding you back and, and that's that haunted energy. And it could be the fact that you've not been able to say something to someone or you've not dealt with a certain conflict. They're telling you to try and put distance between you and that. Try and like kind of heal it in a, in a different way. Yeah, because that's where you're going to win. We've got the six of wands. We've got public recognition. If someone's lied about you in the past or there has been abuse, narcissism, we all know the flying monkeys, that type of thing. That will come out. Don't let that haunt you. That will come out because the public recognition is the fact that people will see that you were telling the truth. You, you know, I do feel like this truth's coming out, Gemini. You're being protected. And like I say, Lilith don't take no crap. So be patient. Your power is the third eye chakra. You know, being able to see the bigger picture of things, especially going forward. Why certain things had to happen in the past in order for what's going to be coming now? You, you're seeing that. The outside influence from spirit. Yeah, what you're letting go of. We've got the need for balance. You may have Libra in your chart. You may have been dealing with a Libra, but it doesn't have to be. What I'm saying is, what are you letting go of? In order to have that lap, we've got to let go of that. So it's in that stage of balance. That's what they're asking you to do this week. Also balancing your social life, that type of thing. Um, and balancing any conflict in your hopes and fears for my Gemini's this week. God, it's so weird shuffling uh, two sets of cards. You don't want that toxic energy coming back. There's a fear of past toxicity coming back, whether it's a new energy that brings it. it it's almost like you're being haunted by a certain cycle. So, yes, it could be a person or it could be a cycle that you feel like you've just constantly been in and you're scared of that happening again. We've got Capricorn energy there as well. You may have Capricorn in chart. You may be dealing with Capricorn. But I feel like it's more the toxicity. Um, you know, I feel like some of my Geminis have been treated bad in the past, but it wasn't you. There was more like a jealousy vibe. And, you know, bullies and things like that, they usually do it. There's usually a reason why they are the pe people they are and what they do. 
uh, because your outcome is the throat chakra and the throat, throat chakra is going to win the battle. Your throat chakra is helping you speak the truth. That's Lilith. That That is like, I will say no, I'll say what I think. I'm going to open my throat chakra. I'm going to, you know, as long as I'm not hurting anybody, but I'm going to speak my truth now. I'm not swallowing my words anymore because we've got congratulations there. You've got the trump card. Gemini, this is going to be a big week for you. We've got, you've been giving you energy wings. It's now time to use the gifts and strengths that these wings carry to provide guidance and empowerment to yourself and others, your experiences, all your qualifications. You've been through the ringer. You've come out the other side. Source to new spiritual hats and spread your angelic energy wherever it's needed. So you may end up in a situation as well where you may just be advising somebody and you don't know why. It's just like your throat chakra just opens. Uh, you know, but I do. I love it. I love the energy. So I hope that helps. And I'll see you next week. Bye.